Yeah, you guys, when I say a delicious storm, I mean, there's a whirlwind going on here, but it all tastes good and smells good. It's a Lindsayism, what can we say? Anyway, where there's food, there's me. I'm in my favorite place, the kitchen with Chef Paul Madison from Madison's Restaurant. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Lindsay, thank you for having me. We're making something with a lot of flavor. We are, we are. We're doing two different things, actually, today, but first thing we're working on is a, a pesto and crusted salmon. And what we do, usually when you put any kind of crusting on a piece of fish or something, you start by tossing it in some flour and then dipping it in some egg right. and then into the breadcrumbs. A little different twist here. What we did is we took some uh, basil pesto and rubbed that on top of the fish. That's a terrific idea. Yeah, then put the breadcrumbs on and then pan seared that so you get a nice little crust. And you're locking in the flavor then. Locking in a lot of flavor. And then now that the uh, fish is about three quarters of the way cooked, I'm adding a few shallots. Okay. And some uh, little grape tomatoes. Yeah, and of course we got started on the, uh, on the salmon prior to actually being on TV. That way we can get through the next part of the meal as well. So you've just put in shallots there. No, I noticed you put a little... A little spice, a little spice, a little uh, little blackened seasoning, just to give it a little okay. bit of warmth, a little bit of heat. Great, you can pick that up at the grocery store, no problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, my favorite part. A little white wine. And then you'll cook down the white wine for a little while. Now, how long should we cook this and at what temperature? Um, I like to put the temperature on about a medium to medium high heat to crust the fish. Okay. You want to put a little crust on the outside, but you're dealing with some breadcrumbs on there, so you don't want to overcook them. Okay. You don't want to brown them really. Now in this pan, what do you have? These are just a few vegetables which we'll put down as a little nest underneath the fish. Some carrot, zucchini. Yellow squash and red onion. Ooh, that's and then I'm going to add to that a little bit of escarole. Wow, and you're actually cooking that. Yeah. Now is that almost like sautéing spinach when, with, with that? Exactly. Exactly okay. like sautéing spinach. And you cook it on a, what, a high for a little bit? High heat. Yeah, just give it a little quick toss. I don't want to cook them down too much. I want to leave the nice texture of the vegetables. I notice you're using a lot of, obviously, a lot of flavor, but also a lot of color here, too, which is, of course, a big part well, of cooking. So, so much goes in your presentation, and you get a nice-looking color on the plate like that. Oh, that's lovely. Look this at is, that. Uh, this makes for a great lunch item as well. It's almost like a little bit of a salad. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take that fish out now because it's just about finished cooking, and actually, just the heat of the fish will continue cooking the rest of the way through while the sauce finish is reducing. Okay. That's going to cook down just a little bit. We're going to tighten it up with just a little splash of cream and, and a little tiny spit of butter. You put the whole obviously the baby tomatoes the whole tomato in there though just to you know to to um what, what's the word oh my gosh i'm to, losing to it today sear it to, to sear yes. it to loosen up the skin to you know and then that's going to be poured all over the top of it yes and this is, be a fish would this sauce. be part of our new year new you i mean is this good for you it obviously looks terrific to it, me it is if we stopped here it'd be good for you but i'm gonna add a little cream and butter to make it almost as good for you that's okay and i'm gonna put you to work if you don't mind You're oh please whisk. yes i'm gonna add a little champagne in here i've got just a couple of egg yolks and a little Champagne. dash of sugar okay and this is a zebion sauce which uh, the italians love to make a zebion a zebion Oh, it's a big leone, nice. and um, that typically... Um, I've never seen a whisker like this that before. Fun? Yeah, it's, it's a, like a back rubber. Yeah, it does a little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we whisk so this up. that whisk, and we do that over a double boiler, so we've got some heat coming up from the, the water beneath. We keep going. Oh, keep oh, going, keep going? Okay. Yeah, just constantly whisk until that thickens. And okay. A nice little and dessert. And again, you said you have is a saucepan underneath. Yes, it's getting very warm with want, water in it. And you're, you want that to hold? Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Thank you. Keep whisking. In the meantime, I added, again, just a touch of cream to that sauce. That's reducing down, so that's about finished. Okay. And that'll go over the top of the fish. This is a lovely, lovely meal. This could be a good Valentine's Day meal. I love it. Love I it. like that. Very nice. Very nice, Chef Paul. All right, so I by like adding it. that cream, we keep that on high heat. And as that reduces down, it thickens slightly a little bit at a time. Okay. And, um... And I'm steaming my face at the same time. Yeah, yeah. You get a facial. <laughs> nah, no get the massage, massage tool. And of course, this recipe is on daytimeonline.tv. Just oh, click on daytime. Oh, stop. Sorry. Yep, take it right off there. Click on daytime dishes, and the recipe will be right there. And again, say the name of the recipe. Uh, this is the zebion sauce, which goes wow. over the top of the berries. Wow. Ooh. And just mixed berries there. You've got blueberries, raspberries, boysenberries as well. Yes. Um, a lot of antioxidants uh, in that. Not all good and good thing. for you. And then the sauce, once that reduces down, Right over the top of the fish. And it's pesto crusted salmon. Yes. That is lovely. I'm gonna take a bite of this. Let me just test this baby out. Oh, that's a big bite. Oh my gosh, this looks lovely. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to talk after this. I'm having a hard time here. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay, ready? Mmm. Beautiful. Is it tasty? I love the pesto. Very little, beautiful. That's little, a little white wine, salmon. little Chardonnay with that would go great or a Pinot Gris. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Thank you so much, Jeff Holly. Great you, to Lindsay. see you Thanks again. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Don't go anywhere. This is lovely. Wow.